kwa Biblia tunajifundisha nini wakati watu walikuwa kwenye matatizo tukaangalia ya kwamba kitu moja Mungu alifanya na yule mama ambaye alikuwa ana madeni si mnakumbuka alimfanyia Elisha alifanya muujiza lakini yule muujiza ulipofanywa she had to trade akaambua go sell the oil so god for god to solve your problems he will give you the spirit of trading the spirit of selling may god give you that favor whatever you sell may it be accepted unaweza niambia mimi nimeajiriwa but you are selling your knowledge ile uko nayo ndio sababu wamekuajiri so i pray through the area of selling trading may you find favor leo na tatu angalia from the book of first king 17 verses verses 9 please how did god solve people's problems kama unaandika mahali my subtopic today is through spiritual instructions Mungu anaweza kukutatulia shida yako kupitia maagizo ya kiroho. Anakuagiza ufanye kitu na ukifanya hiyo kitu mambo yako itafunguka. Anakuagiza ufanye kitu na ukifanya hiyo kitu kama mi Mungu aliniagiza ni nitoke kwa ofisi wakati wa corona, niingie kwa streets nihubiria watu. Paka watu wananisimamisha wananiambia pasta, hufai kuwa huku kwa street maana nimekaa vumbi. Ajua kuona mchungaji amekaa vumbi anakaa hoka. So watu unapata washirika wa kanisa wananiambia pasta rudi kanisani. Tuma vijana. Lakini ni instruction nilikuwa nimepewa na Mungu. And when I did it, we went for almost four months, right? But when I did it, what happened? I was wondering how will we build a church? God built it in three months. Bila deni, bila anything. That's how God works. If you follow his instructions he will provide for you. Now the Bible says in the book of 1 Kings 17 verses 9, Arise go to Zarephath which belongs to Sidon and dwell there. See, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. Arise, Elijah. I want to solve your problem of food. Arise. I want you to go to a place called Zarephath. In particular akapewa mpaka mahali where you should go Zarephath. There I have commanded a widow. So if you are writing somewhere why should you follow spiritual instructions? Why should you not ignore prophetic dreams? Why should you not ignore the voice of God? Number one, you need to realize not everybody is commanded to support you. Not everybody is commanded by God to become of help to you. Kuna watu fulani wameagizwa wasimame na your vision. And if you don't follow the voice of God, you cannot locate them. So sio kila mtu atakuwa customer wako. Sio kila mtu atasimama na vision ambayo ulio nayo. There are particular people that are commanded to do something concerning your vision. Because God will never give you a vision that is only for you he gives you a vision that is too big it's bigger than you so you will need other people so number one, why should you follow the instructions of god the voice of god so that you may locate those people who are commanded by god to be of blessing to you so not everybody will be a blessing to your life now when we say about those people commanded other customers may be commanded to come to your shop do you know kuna mtu anakujanga hii kanisa all the way from Nairobi. Unafikiri anapita kanisa ngapi from Nairobi to this church? Is it that we are the best church? Are there not very big churches and more beautiful churches in Nairobi? But he is commanded to come here. Aliniambia ni Mungu alimwambia aje hapa. Ati baraka yake ya maisha nikimuombea anakujanga na matestimony ananiambia tangu tuombe hata kuna mtu huwa ananiletea magari zake ku dedicate amenileta basi amenunua roli amenunua matatu amenunua because he was commanded to come to me na aka notice maana alikuwa ni shamba boy tangu tukutane his life changed so it is always good to know there are people that are particularly commanded to be of help in your life na don't fight those people don't lose them because they are commanded. Huyu mwanamke imagine Elijah angeenda kumvuruga. 
Raija ande anamwambia mwanamke aina gani? Kwanza kwa nini bwana yako alikufa? Ama ulimwekea sumu? So it is always good nuwa naambia watu ukitumiwa kunguru wacha kunguru ikupatie nyama ienda ikatafute usikule hiyo kunguru. Kuna watu wanakuranga kunguru. Najua kukura kunguru ni nini? Mungu anatuma mtu asupport mtoto wako asome. Anaanza kumlipia school fees. Kitu tu inatokea tu huyo mtu anakuwa na burden ya huyo mtoto. Alafu unaanza kumpigia tu simu na hatujalipa rent. Unaanza kumpigia tu simu na by the way kama unaweza kutufanyia ka shopping kidogo. Unaanza kumpigia simu paka anakuondokea. Maana alikuwa amepewa kazi fulani, hakuwa amepewa awe UN akusaidie kila kitu. So there are people hata customer usimkope, ametumwa na Mungu anunue vitu aende. So mambo ya kumukopa hapo ndiyo kuna kuanga sasa na shida. We lose those people who have been commanded by God to be of blessing in our lives. Na ndiyo sababu hata muhubiri afai kukopa washirika. Maana you are going to lose those people ambao walikuwa wametumwa na Mungu kwako wawe baraka kwa maisha yako. Na hata kama muhubiri atakopa mshirika ni alipe. Si kuhubiri alafu anasema si kukopa alafu anasema Bwana amenizungumzia usiku ile pesa ulinipa jana ni sadaka. Na kwa hivyo ukae hivyo hivyo. So we need to know there are people who have been commanded in our lives. So why should we follow spiritual instructions? Number one, tumesema, because there are people who are commanded to be of blessing to you. Number two, spiritual instructions lead you to your provision. Maana hapa Elijah anaambiwa, go there to that woman, the Zerafath woman. I have commanded her. She was commanded from heaven. You have to stand with this prophet. Number two, provision was with that woman. So when you follow God's voice and instructions from God, they will lead you to your provision. Amen. Now, can you go to the book of Luke chapter 5, verses 5? The book of Luke chapter 5, verses 5. The Bible is very clear. This is Jesus now giving instructions. Alipata wa metafuta samaki the whole night. They caught nothing. The book of Luke chapter 5 verses 5 the Bible says but Simeon answered and said to him master we have toiled all night we have worked all night kuna watu mko hapa you have worked a whole year 10 years you have toiled for a long time and you have caught nothing tumefanya kazi yani hawa watu hawakuwalezi we need to agree number 1 mtu ambaye amefanya kazi usiku mzima sio lezi is a hard working person, right? Number two, they were not people who were not skilled. They had skill. Walikuwa najua kuvua samaki. Number three, they had what they needed to get the fish. But yet, even after toiling, they got nothing. So sometimes you may have what you need. You may have the capital. You may have the skills. You may be educated. But yet, unapitia struggles fulani katika maisha. Paka ndio unaona anga watu wanafika mahali wanauliza ama nimerogwa. Yaani unaangalia ile kisomo uko nayo uko mpaka na masters. Yaani unaangalia vile unajipanganga maisha yako. Unaamkanga six uko ready umevaa suti. Yaani unaangalia vile huwa una present uh, anything any proposals unaona wewe ndio kwanza watu wanakupatianga sifa ya vile you are good at presenting your things. But at the end of the day, nothing. Then, unanza kujiuliza, ama ni merogo. Hapo ndiyo mtu anaanza kufikiri yanga. Ukisikia muubiri ya kisema, wewe ulirogewa kwenu kijijini. Unafaa urudi huko umuage mafuta. Na kuambi utapereka mafuta huko. Mana unanza kujiuliza, what is happening in my life? Unasikia muubiri mwengine kwa TV ya mezema, wewe ulifungiwa jina yako kwa muti. Jina yako yuko juu ya muti. Unaenda kijijini unaanza kupanda miti ukiangalia kama utapata jina yako mahali ukimwagia miti yote mafuta Kuna kuna posta niliona imeandikwa tied in the village but wanted in the city conference Hiyo conference inajaa Tied where in the village but wanted in the city prophet so and so ministering Nakwambia mtajaa hiyo conference Iri ujue nilifungwa vipi kijijini. Na ni kweli ukikaa hivi unaona unaotanga na kwenu. 
Ukilala usiku unajiona ukiwa geshaki. E, praise the Lord. But can I tell you some of you siku rogwa najua kuna wengine mmerogwa rogwa lakini wengi wenu hamjarogwa. The problem you have is that you don't follow God's voice for your life. You follow money, you follow positions, you follow opportunities, but you don't follow God's instructions. Mimi Mungu alinitoa New York akaniambia nirudi Kenya. Nikarudi Nairobi Mungu akanitoa Nairobi akaniambia nije Nakuru. Those instructions I keep on following, provision will be there. Because provision for a believer is not like the wicked because the wicked can do corruption can kill people where huui mtu huongi mtu hufanyi hizo mavitu mbaya mbaya biashara za magendo huwezi fanya you need the voice of god to lead you to where your provision is usijipime maisha yako na watu wale hawajaokoka maana they are doing things you don't do and there are things you cannot do wananunua mali ya wizi wanauza bei rahisi wengine wewe huwezi fanya hivyo How will you compete with them? Follow the commands of God in your life. It will lead you to where you are supposed to be. Na hapo milango yako itafunguka. Kwa hivyo akasema, Master we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Nevertheless, at your word I will let down the net. At your I will follow your instruction Jesus. And the Bible says in verse 6 what happened? And when they had done what? And when they had done this they caught a great number of fish and their nets were breaking. They are breaking. So instructions are very important. Prophetic instructions are very important. Huanaambia watu kuna askofu mmoja though he went to be with the Lord alinifundisha kitu ambao nililegea kidogo lakini saa hii najaribu kurudi kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kitu alinifundisha aliniambia yeye haendangi safari hajaona hata ukimuita conference kwanza aione ili akubali hey hata safari yatoke hapa aende Nairobi sikwambii uwe kama wajua sisi za tumeenda kiwango kingine kama wahubiri alikuwa safari akikosa kuiona haendi hata nilimwalika hapa mara nyingi akakataa kuja mpaka siku ile aliona akiwa hapa akaona anahubiri hapa akakubali kuja and he came and ministered here He was on another level of hearing the voice of God. Hey, hiyo ni kali. Lazima aone nini? Safari. Kama haioni, haendi. So hawa waliposikiliza sauti ya Yesu, what happened? They caught a great number of fish. So listen, some of you, your provision, your breakthrough, your progress is hidden in the instructions that you are supposed to receive from God but we are lazy in the spirit we are hard working physically but in the spirit we are lazy we don't receive instructions sasa kama wewe who will you choose to be the next president will you just vote because of what people are saying or will you receive an instruction from above may we seek the voice of God in the area of voting may we seek the voice of God in the area of career and business because God knows you better God knows you better now look at the book of uh, Matthew chapter 17 verses 24 Matthew chapter 17 verses 24 the bible says when they had come to Capernaum those who received the temple tax came to Peter and said does your teacher not pay the temple tax mm -hmm. kwa hivyo hapa Yesu amekujiwa na KRA KRA kaja ikauliza na huyu by the way huyu anawahubiria na anafufua fufua huwa analipa ushuru hapa sasa nataka kujibu swali la mkristo anafaa kulipa ushuru tuendelee he said yes and when they had come into the house Jesus anticipated him kwa hivyo Jesus used to pay what taxes right there alikuwa analipa the bible says but when When they had come to the house Jesus anticipated na akauliza na aliuliza nini can we can we read What do you think Simeon From whom do the kings of the earth take customs or taxes From their sons or from strangers So hapa anajaribu kumaanisha isipokuwa ni vile dunia ilibadilika na ikaharibika citizens are not supposed to pay taxes 
ni vile dunia ilibadilika ili, ili ilikuwa na hiki tukatari nafanyika the citizens of that nation hawalipangi taxes wageni ndio wanalipa ukienda huko kuishi huko utalipa taxes lakini mukatariz alipangi hata nilienda dubai nikaona walikuwa wanaitwa nani kuna jina wanapewa wale wale wenye nchi utawajua maana wanavaa pure white na wanaendeshanga magari kubwa kubwa kazi yao ni shopping shopping na nilisikia wanalaranga mpaka mchana sasa nika, nikataka niwaone nikaenda nikapelekwa malls kuwaona huko wasafi kila kitu white kuanzia kichwa nafikiri hawa ni watoto wa Ibrahimu wa Ketura maana hiyo maisha wanaishi na kuambia you cannot live like that if you don't have a covenant hauna bar maana hawa watu mafuta kwao imewatajirisha they are extremely wealthy kazi yao ni shopping wanakujia watu Kenya wakawafanyia kazi wanakujia watu India wakawafanyia kazi they are very few about 2 million in number hao ndio sasa wenye inchi hakuna taxes hakuna kulipa shule hakuna kulipa hospitali mtu mmoja wa najua wa hapa Kenya alienda kuwafanyia alifanyia familia moja tajiri huko kazi aliniambia choo ile kitu ya kukalia ni dhahabu sasa wacha hii una <laughs> yani wamekosa kitu ya kufanya na pesa they don't know what to do with money inaitwa covenant naomba ufike kiwango kama hiyo ati tunakuuliza unaenda wapi sasa hiyo ni saa saba unaniambia uh, nasikia kulala wajua mimi nilishangaa duka zinafungwa uzisubiri usubiri wafungua nauliza wanaenda wapi wameenda kulala si unakumbuka sasa wakiamuka sasa wewe una hata fadhali ukae hapo tu kisubiri eh, sijui ni kwa nini nilikuwa nimesema hiyo yote lakini kwa na maanisha hivi Yesu akasema wenyeji hawafai kulipa nini mi naomba Kenya ifike mahali kama hapo. Wajua tuliomba sana turukana mafuta itokee. Sijui tena kuliendaje. Wajua kama hiyo mafuta ya turukana ingelipuka. Poa, yani mafuta inajaza Afrika mzima. Na tuache vita. Maana sasa hiyo hiyo ndio shida ingine. Hiyo mafuta iwekwe vizuri. Hata mimi nawahubiria. Nawauliza kabla muende katika kazi zenu kama uko hapo unahitaji 2020 nitakupa tu haina shida unahitaji elfu mia moja mpange laini nitawaona baada ya ibada wajua ingekuwa mzuri lakini sasa nikimaliza hapa ni utoe sadaka yaukia mtu muambie utoe sadaka <laughs> haleluya but anyway verses 26 inasema hivi verses 26 wajua sometimes i make you laugh because the world out there is so depressing naone vile mnakujanga mkiingia huku mmekaa kama Yaani hebu angalia watu wakiingia pale. Ningetaka niwaekee kamera. Uone watu vile wanaingianga wakiwa serious. Maana umetoka dunia imejaa. I'm telling you kanjo amekukimbiza. Eh, umetoka mahali umejaribu customer amekunyang'anya. Sasa ukiingia nyumba ya Bwana nayo nikae hapa kama nakupiga. Sasa si majameni tutaingia depression zote. Mimi naomba katika nyumba ya Bwana uwe na joy. Uwe na furaha kama kuna mahali utaingia upate amani the house of god maana uko nje either traffic officer wajua kama nairobi ndio tulikuwa ukipitwa ukikosa hata tulikuwa tunataka ushikwe na askari wa, wa traffic afadhali ushikwe na polisi kuliko kanjo maana kuna vile unainuli wangu unaenda ukipigwa ngumi sasa unaona <laughs> tulikuwa tunaomba afadhali nishikwe na polisi kuliko nishikwe na nani kuna siku moja Tulipata kanjo ikishika watu nikasimama karibu na mzee rafiki si rafiki yangu mzee sikuwa najua hapo huyo mzee ananiambia watu ni watu bure sana mimi nasema he okay naambia watu kama hawa wanafaa watwangwe makofi hao watu kumbe huyu amesimama hapa nyuma yetu ni kanjo mimi sikujibu mimi nilikuwa nasema ndio eh ndio <laughs> ile kofi huyo mzee alipigwa <laughs> dire to the moon and back mimi nilikaa tu hivyo nibesi baba nikaona amebebaniwa na kanjo wawili na hajafanya makosa kusema tu Mungu akusaidie Mungu akupatie furaha may god give you a season of peace in your life 
The Bible says, Peter said to him from stranger, Jesus said to him then, the sons are free. Verses 27, to Maliza na hiyo. Nevertheless, lest we offend them, go to the sea, cast the hook, take the fish that comes out, up, what? First. And when you have opened its mouth, you will find a piece of money. Take that and give it to them for me and for you. Spiritual instructions will lead you to your provision. Tuwache tu kufanya kazi na hekima ya shule. Minaomba tutafute sauti ya mungu ikuelekeze. Ni kazi gani unafaa kufanya. Tafuta sauti ya mungu ikuelekeze. Ni mahali gani unafaa kuchukua loan. Tafuta sauti ya mungu ikuelekeze. Zerafadhi yako ni ipi. Mana unaweza yaka biyashara mahali. Unajua ni maliza na hiku. Na kitu ni menotisi. Na ndiyo sababu you are supposed to seek the voice of God. Imagine watu wale walienda wakanunua duka mahali matatu zilikuwa. Unauzua duka one million. 500,000. Arafu matatu zinahamishwa. Ukienda mahali zile matatu zilikuwa sahi ni is a, like a ghost place. Niliena nikashtuka. Nikaangali hizo duka zote zilikuwa na watu hapu. Zimefungwa. Nikasema tao ni naeza badilika. Lakini sauti ya mungu huwa mungu wanaona mbele. Kuna mahali anaeza kukuambia usijenge nyumba hapa. Maana hiyo shamba baadae mutakuja mubomolewe. Una invest milioni kumi hapo zinapotea zote. May the voice of God lead you to the place of your provision. I pray may the voice of God lead you to the people commanded to support you. May the voice of God lead you to the nation you are supposed to visit. Sio kila inchi unafaa kuenda. Enda inchi ila mungu wa mekuambia. Usiamuke tu wa subuyu wa muwe. Nitaenda huku. Nitaenda hii inchi. Today I pray. May the instructions that are given by God, we take them seriously. Mana, in, under those instructions, we shall receive our provision. And that is why I tell people who are aspiring to do ministry. Mutiote anataka kuhubiri kama mimi. Never, ever, ever move because of you feel. Unajua kuna mtu naangalianga unasema, kareka town kanaka kuwa na pesa. Never do that. Never start a church based on a city having money. Never start a church manner your friends are doing it. Never start something because other people are doing it. Start anything you start. The Bible says whatever that is born of God overcomes the world. Anything that is born of God shall overcome the world. Lakini ukianza kitu kwa sababu wengine wanafanya. It will take you round. Mini miona wahubiru wa meanza wakafunga. Unafungua tena unafunga. Unasema iria hii kona wachawi. Unahama. Wacha ni kuambia mungu wa kikutuma mahali. Wachawi ya waezi zuia. They cannot. Mutu wa metumwa na mungu. Uwezi raaniwa na mtu yoyote. Mana you are a project of God. May you become a project of God. Na mana Paul is taki upigwe pigwe. Enda pande hii. Isaac anataa kuenda Egypt. Mungu wa na muambia no. Don't go. Because God knows the best place for you. Everything that glitters is not gold. Kuna mtu wanaeza kukuoa iwe muanzo wa kufa kwa ko. Naongea na wasichana wadogo, usiangarie subaru. Inaweza kuwa hizu hiyo subaru na huyo mtu. Ndiya metumwa na shatani ya kuangamize. Marry right. Marry the ordained people who are sent to you by God. Oh pastor, hajui shame. Nani alizema binguni kuna ongewa shame. Oh pastor, hajui kizungu. Mina ambianga watu mnaeza pata mungu wa kiongia kikuyu. Ama kiruo huko, usikia kisema opaki yesu, opaki, opaki ruothi. Na tatu stangaze leo tuinue mikono yetu, tutangaze. We, we open our hearts to be instructed by God. Can you lift up your hands as you are seated? I want you to tell God, I receive your instructions concerning my life. I receive your instructions concerning my life. How did God solve people's problems? He instructed them. He told them, go to this place and that place. Do this and that. Because under those instructions, there is provision. There are people who are commanded to stand with you. Today in the name of Jesus, we decree, the Lord, we shall not go unless you tell us to go. There are places we, there are decisions we shall not make without consulting, without inquiring from you, O God. Leo tunaomba katika jina la Yesu Christo. 
Kuna sauti za Mungu alikuzungumzia but you ignored. Kuna maagizo Mungu alikupa but you ignored. Kuna instructions ulipewa but you ignored. That is why there is a level of struggle in some of us and in lives of some of us here. Leo tunatangaza we receive the commands of God. We receive the instructions of God. We receive in the mighty name of Jesus. We receive Oh, tukaongozwe na Mungu katika hatua zetu. Tukaongozwe na Mungu katika kuchukua hatua. Before you become physical, you are a spiritual person. Before you became physical, you were a spirit. And so everything you do should be spiritual. Do not ignore the spirituality of business. Do not ignore the spirituality of career. Do not ignore the spirituality of planting a vision. Anything we do, you need to know you are a spirit before you became physical. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we lift up our hands, tunakubali ya kwamba we are spirits who are living in a body. And so we need to connect to you, our Father, so that we may be guided in all areas of life. The businesses we are doing, they are spiritual. The careers we are pursuing, they are spiritual. Na tukua tumainua mikono hivyo ni naomba sauti ya mungu ikakunene. Ni naomba instructions za mungu zikawe so real in your life. Ni naomba mungu akikuonya utakubali kuonyeka. Ni naomba mungu akikuongoza utakubali kuongozwa.